Okay, back to the toolbar. Um, right up here, you'll notice that you have a button. If you hover over top of it, it's called Smart Exchange. If you click on that button, it will take you directly into the Smart Exchange website, where you will be asked to sign in. If you have never signed into Smart Exchange before, you'll have to join for free. When you do that, it'll ask you for your email address and some other information. Um, please do that. It is a great resource, so you want to take your time and quickly fill that out. Once you've filled that out, you will have access to the Smart Exchange. The Smart Exchange ha is searchable and it has all different kinds of resources, um, different file types, notebook lessons, it has gallery items, widgets, which I'll explain later. Um, it has all different kinds of things. But if you're teaching a subject and you're looking for something specific, um, maybe you want to search by grade, it's all here. Um, I'm just going to pick something fairly easy. I'm going to try type in solids, liquids, and gases, and see what I can find. Then I'll hit my search tab. It'll take a second to search, and it'll show me some different resources. So right down here, it says best match. So if you scroll down, you'll see that you have some resources down here. Um, I've got what is matter. If I'd like to preview it, I can click it, and I can page through what is matter. It'll tell me a few things about matter. I can decide if that is a resource that I think would be good for my class. These items are not interactive right now. I can, however, open it in Smart Notebook Express, and they would be interactive. Um, but if I like that, I can now click download, and it will ask me where do I want to save that resource. As I scroll down, you can see that there's several different ones. They all say download here. There are some that I have noticed that will have a fee associated with them. For now, I just ignore them. I don't purchase anything because there are so many great resources that are completely free. Okay, so take a note and just see. If it says Smart Table Activity Pack, unless you have a Smart Table, you're not going to want that. So watch for the ones that say Smart Notebook Lesson. Um, once it's downloaded, so I'll click the Download button. It'll quickly download. And I will have it in my downloads. And I'll be able to open it up just like any other notebook file. Um, so enjoy. Take some time and go explore Smart Exchange. Set yourself up an account. One additional note is you'll notice my search is right here. If I wanted to search for just certain subjects, I can open up this drop-down menu. I can search by specific grades here. And I can also search by the country that I live in. So I can pick Canadian, um, Canada, and English. I can hit Go again. And I can also narrow my results to just Smart Notebook Lessons. So if I click just Smart Notebook Lessons, I won't have to worry about this ending here and looking to see which um, which file type it is.